It's your favorite Canadian here, Shantel Gaming. Well, I have this book that I wrote four years ago called Chuck the Cow. And I, I don't know if you can see, but I scribble all over. There's a shit ton of references to crap. Like I drew Luigi, a random guy on a bicycle, a whooper, a bomb, a bunch of random, ra oh, and a derpy potato. And ch this, this was going to be like, so what I was going to do was I was going to make a story about Chuck the Cow and then have a bunch of really small mini stories. Well, uh, I only got like halfway done the story of Chuck the Cow that I never wrote again. Uh, warning, you're about to feel cringe because this is a really cringy story. Uh, not just because of the spelling errors, but like just the whole thing feels cringy. Like the plot is boring. It just feels like a... A nine-year-old wrote it, and I was nine at the time I wrote that. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get started. I have to wear gloves because uh, I wouldn't want to damage the value this this book holds. Um, get, get my headphones out. So the chapters are: Chapter one, meet Chuck the cow. Chapter two, Chuck goes shopping. Chapter three, the big trouble. Chapter four. Life in Jail, Chapter 5, The Escape, Chapter 6, The New Crimin Crimile, Crimile, Crim <laughs> Chapter 7, The Big Plan, Chapter 8, The Chase, Chapter 9, The Risky Escape, Chucky, Ch Chucky, oh my god, Chapter 10, Chuck Saves the Day. <clears throat> chapter 1, Ch Meet Chuck the Cow, Chuck the Cow is no ordinary I'm going to read it as I spelt it. Ordinary cow. Unlike all the other cows in Moo Town, very original name, he was rafter weird. For example, he would always sing super loud in the store and he would always slow, slow when I came to work. King, the only store he was not banned from was Veggie Mar Smarts. Veggie Smarts, that's the name of the store. He worked part-time on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. He lived in an apartment called Talk Sleep Motel. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He lived in an apartment, and then it's also a motel? That doesn't make any sense. It was a three-star motel. His best friend is Jim, who is three door down from him. He only... He only bang hangouts with him on Sunday because that's the only day he does not work. Every chapter is a page, by the way. Uh, my hands are already sweating, but I, 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 I can't damage the property value. One day, like in decades from now, this is going to be worth millions. And you know what? Maybe one of you guys, who, if you're one of you guys still out there, you know, live, if you want to buy this from me, maybe sometime in the future, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chapter 2, Chuck Goes Shopping. It was Saturday, and since he was not gring shopping, he went to Super Veggie, even though... I thought it was Super Veggie Smarts. I forgot to put smart there. That's how smart I was. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He went... Okay, even though he was banned from what, that from that store... He still went in. When it was time to pay, the cashier noticed it was him and told him to leave. But he did not leave. He did not leave. So he called security. Chuck ran and hid an odor a table selling apples. He sat there for what seemed like 30 min minutes. <laughs> minutes? <laughs> that sounds like mini nuts. But one of the security guards notices him. And attempted to arrest him, which did not do him any good. Because Chuck took an apple and knocked him out. He was in deep trouble. This story, though. It's... How many... Okay, there's only five chapters. Yeah, I only got like this halfway done. Uh, chapter 3, Big Trouble. Chuck heard sirens coming from outside... The there five police entering the store. So Chuck ran off trying to hide. He found a pop shelf. S s since one, s 
sec, sec one, empty, so he hid there at a very, at the very back. He sat there for minutes until he was spotted and ran off to the door trying to escape. Then two police officers chased him and tackled him. He waited, waited for days in the police station until he was going to the court. He was sentenced to one year in prison for resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer. His friends watched helplessly as he was taken away from the two police officers. Oh, from two. Okay, that. This story is freaking gold. I, I honestly. I, I think I, I, I don't honestly remember. I remember writing this story, actually. I remember it kind of. And I think why I stopped writing it was because I got very bored of it. And rightfully so. This story is absolute garbage. The spelling is terrible. And this plot is boring as hell and so generic. Chapter 4, Life in Jail. His cellmate name was Joe. He went to jail for robbery. He was not in a maximum security jail in his room. He had two small beds. A mini TV and a toilet. No E's in there, just toilet. For lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Most of the time, they had the same thing for breakfast. They us they usually had toast for lunch. They usually had stew for supper. They usually had chili. They got up at 5 a.m. Mm, I, I can't even read that. That word's literally just M and D, mid went to bed at 9 p.m. The exercise once they got at once a day for one hour, they had to help making meals and slash or serving them. They had to sweep the floor, but one day in jail, it was different. This story... <laughs> oh my god, why is... <sighs> Okay, this is the last chapter I did. Chapter 5, The Escape. Larry, Joe, and Steve, a prisoner, were alone because... No, were alone because the only guard watching them sweep had to take a dump. <laughs> so they decided to make a run, got gut out the back door. But when the they were running, the guard spotted them and they had to sweep more. They were... Sw you know, if you honestly got caught escaping a prison, you'd probably be sentenced to solitary confinement, I'm, I, I'm guessing. But then they had to sweep more. They were sweaty when they only had 20 more minutes, minutes of sweeping. They asked to go to the bathroom. They went, but instead of going to the washroom, they ran out of the building. When they made it out of there, they, they spit up. Larry ended up going to his house and staying there, but he was on the run for one month until he was sent to court and was on patrol. Wait, hold on. Who's Larry? I think on the last chapter, I... Ch I think in the last chapter, I changed Chuck's name to Larry... <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Wow, this book that that was an interesting story. Um, yeah, but yeah, I want to show you guys the cover. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> Just look at that. There's Luigi, a guy on a bike, Wooper, which is a Pokemon, Chuck, a potato guy, and this Spike guy and this Mouse guy. I don't even know. I honestly would rip this up and throw it away, but I honestly want to keep this so, like, one day in the very, like, like a decade from now, I can just look back on how I wrote stories when I was nine years old. It was quality garbage. So, honestly. Oh, yeah. That was perfect. Well, thank you for watching. Really do appreciate it. And, yeah. All right. Bye.